so it looks like I am now live. I'm just fixing myself over here in my chair, and uh, I am so glad that y'all were able to join me, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, I love doing live videos for y'all and but I've never done a tutorial so this is the very first tutorial that I'll be doing for you and who knows what can happen so earlier I did a card a sample of what I want to show you now uh, the main thing that I want to show you is we are debuting a brand spanking new paper collection by one of my BFFs, Yorlis Borja. That's right, Pretties by Yorlis now has her own paper collection and she is selling it on Zibit. Now, um, when Yorlis jumps in and I see that Yorlis is there, hi Yorlis, hi Elizabeth. Um, if y'all have any questions, please go right ahead and ask your list she will direct you to her zibit shop where you will be able to find her um, paper collection and because we are debuting her brand spanking new paper collection I want to make it hi Esther I want to make it exciting and fun for y'all I'm gonna go ahead and hold a live giveaway that's right we're gonna have a live giveaway for the people who are attending this tutorial and uh, I will show you what I'm giving away in uh, during the tutorial or afterwards but you have to stay with us throughout the whole tutorial so that you can see what I'm giving away and how you can enter for this giveaway so yeah this is what we're gonna make it's a super easy very simple uh, shaker card <laughs> and I've made it with the Pretties by Yorlis paper collection. I don't know if this has a specific name, Yorlis. You just let me know. Hi, Trisha. And so uh, this is how what I came up with. <laughs> it's absolutely cute. And so let me show you um, some of the papers from her collection. Now, I went ahead and downloaded, printed three shades I don't know your list if you have more shades you could tell everyone hi you can tell everyone um, if there's more shades to this but we do have this beautiful pastel baby blue it's all roses as you can see we have it in that beautiful pastel blue it is also available in this beautiful pastel pink and I hope that y'all can see these colors uh, correctly and so yeah because it's kind of dark in here y'all are in my dungeon <laughs> I call it my dungeon and so here we have this beautiful pastel yellow and so anyhow these are the three that I downloaded I don't know if there is more um, and so but there's also some digital files with this collection and this is not the only one there's other digital files like mermaids and other stuff that uh, belong to this collection I just happened to print out this one and so this is what it looks like it is absolutely cute it is so pretty and so uh, yeah we are going to attempt to make this shaker card in under an hour <laughs> So, anywho, what I'm going to start with is just a base. This is your A2 size card. I believe it is four and a quarter by five and a half. And so, what we're going to need is we're going to need a base, or you can make your very own base. We're going to need some double sided tape. We're going to need some of this foam tape thingamajiggy. And I do use some washi, and I'm going to show you um, how. Uh, why I mean and I do have a circle die from the polka doodles circle collection and I and I think I think I'm missing one more die because I find it hard to believe that this is the littlest one but it was the smallest one so yeah I need a smaller die than this one but this is gonna have to do and so what I did here is, and I lost my die cut. Of course, 
<laughs> Anything that can go wrong will, right? Okay, here we go. So what I'm using over here, see, this is the same sheet as this one. And what I did was I die cut this part right here with the circle. And for my first card, what I did was I die cut this part here with the same circle and I mounted it over a sheet. Now over here in this first card, this is where I made all of my mistakes. Okay. And I'm going to show share with you some tips, you know, some of the things that you're like, Oh, I should have done it this way. I should have done it that way. I'm going to share that with you. So that way card making becomes something so super quick and easy for you. Yeah. Learn from my mistakes. Right. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this, these things on. So now since we we know that uh, this card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. We are going to trim our papers about an eighth of an inch less than those measurements. So what I want to put in the front of my card, I want to use a uh, pink. So let me just set these to the side over here. And let me set this to the side over here and over here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, where did it go? Here we go. I'm going to take my trusty um, card making, whatchamacallit, cutter, paper trimmer thingamajiggy. And I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. And uh, the first thing that I want to do here is, okay, the card is four and a quarter, so I'm going to go an eighth of an inch less. Alrighty, so we are at four and one eighth, and I'm going to go ahead and trim that right there. I do need to trim the white edges off. And what I love about this paper collection is you can see the design, the rose design is so random that you really, you know, there's no top or bottom or sideways. It looks good any which way you cut it. And so I'm going to go, let's see, that's five and a half. So we are at five and three eighths. Okay, Chica. My dog is just going, no pay attention to me okay so this part is gonna go right on this and I'm gonna need a second part so the second part we are going to trim it exactly the same way so let's see if we could do it like this and not waste so much paper I know baby I know I have a Siberian Husky and as y'all know Siberian Huskies are very very chatty <laughs> And so, okay, so this card was four and a quarter, so we're going to go four and an eighth, and snip, and we're going to go five, let's see, five and a half, we're going to go five and three eighths, and snip. So now we have two of these. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Yes, I know. See, she's howling now. What do you want? What do you want, honey? You know your mommy loves you. Yes, she does. Okay, so we're going to put this to the side. And we are going to put these to the side. These can go bye-bye. They go right in the trash. Okay, so this is what I learned. You know, this is one of those things that could have, should have, would have. Okay, and I'm going to show you now my could have, should have, would have. All righty. When cutting a circle into this, I did it in separate parts and then trying to, I know, honey, yeah. <laughs> and then trying to match the, the cut was like, ah, it was driving me nuts. Okay, so what we're going to do this time around is we are going to trim, we're going to, okay, we've already trimmed these two pieces, but hang on, I'm missing one more. See, I'm missing one more thing. We uh, need to trim the part this part right here so yeah let's go ahead and do that see Sheikah my dog's name is Sheikah and she just she has my attention she took my attention from me okay yes you did I know I know yeah <laughs> she's so funny yeah yeah mm-hmm 
you know, Shika is a chunky monkey, and I know exactly what she wants. She's been fed. She's been walked. She has fresh water. What she wants now is more num-nums. That's what she's asking for. She's like, give me more num-nums. And I'm like, no, you're fed enough as it is. <laughs> So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see. The circle is, um, let's go ahead and do this kind of like at a four. Yeah, kind of like at a four by four, perhaps, or a four by something. <laughs> let's do this at about a four by three and a quarter. You know, I'm just kind of guessing because the thing is, it's going to have to be big enough to cover up the space. So, that's what we're going to do, right? Okay, so first thing here, let me go ahead and get rid of this. First thing that we're going to do is, this is our card, okay, and that's going to be the front. So now let's go ahead and tape this right along here because we know that somewhere over here we're going to die cut a circle. And I hope that this works <laughs> because the first time I did it I was like, there's got to be an easier way and maybe there is an even better way than the one that I'm doing right now but um, yeah my dog's mad at me now she just walked up to me she's like <sighs> <laughs> yeah and so let's go ahead uh-huh yeah yeah mm-hmm and what's funny about my Siberian Husky is that she has those white eyes, you know, those scary looking white eyes. She doesn't have a scary face. You know how some Huskies have a really scary looking face, like a demon? <laughs> she doesn't have that face. She has a sweet, sweet face. She's a pretty girl. But those white eyes, it's like... Wow, when she looks at you and stares at you with those white eyes, you're like, uh, <laughs> you know, me persino. <laughs> that means I do the sign of the cross. <laughs> yeah, because those eyes look evil. Evil, I tell you, they look evil. Uh huh. Yep, okay, so we are going to go ahead and put this there and I'm thinking I'm also going to do a little bit of yes I know I know I know you want some num nums mama's not going to give you any num nums so go away Shika go away <laughs> she's just looking at me no go away She's just looking at me and looking at me. Okay, so I'm also going to add a little bit of glue. Watch me mess things up. I hope not. And, okay. Alrighty. And the reason why I'm adding glue, in case you're wondering, is because when you're making shaker cards and, and you use... Um, tape quite often as you're shaking your shaker cards the the little sequins will get stuck to the tape okay so that's why i'm using glue right along there okay so now i have my little thingamajiggy here for the shaker card and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a paper over here just like so and let's go ahead and do that and once again I'm gonna use um, tape and if y'all don't already know um, there's a reason why a lot of card makers use tape instead of glue because sometimes no matter how good uh, the the glue is like let's say this one I, I what happened to the little thingy majiggy? I don't want it to dry out. What did I do with it? Here we go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I gotta remember to do that. No matter how good the quality of your glue is, and depending on, on the area where you live, for example, I'm in the Houston area, and there is tons of um, humidity, 
alrighty? And even though we have air conditioners at home and everything, there's always going to be that degree of humidity. And if I was to use, and I learned this the hard way, if I'm to use glue to glue down papers to my cardstock, eventually they not necessarily warp, but it bends the cardstock somewhat. And that's because of the humidity, and I don't want that to happen here. So that's why I'm using tape. So, okay, here we go. And of course, you always see me using my Spellbinders tool in one simply because it's a heck of a lot easier for me to peel these things off. Uh, with this tool and I've gotten used to using it you know if I was to just try and use my natural nails it, it seems foreign to me so that's why I use it okay now keep in mind we are working on the inside of the card first and I am crossing my fingers that this works <laughs> Okay, and if it doesn't, then you know why I don't do live tutorials. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. Alrighty, this one's going to go right along here. And, oh my goodness, let's hope it works. Okay, so, <laughs> here we go. And, um... Thank you to those of you who are joining us. Hi, Brian. How are you? By the way, Brian, I am holding a giveaway live right here during this tutorial. You may want to tell your friends your, uh, throughout social media to come hang out with us. I am debuting a brand spanking new paper collection by Yorlis Borja. She sells this collection at Zibit. I don't know exactly what the name of this paper collection is. I know she told us, but I can't remember to save my life. And so that's what we're doing. We're doing a tutorial using Yorlis's, um paper collection. And I'm sure that she can put, she'll put her link to her Zibit store right along the chat so that you can pay her a visit. So what I'm going to do here is <laughs> I'm going to put one of these over here and I hope that this works. One of these over here and like we say in Spanish, suerte o tripa, <laughs> which roughly means it either works or it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, so, and for those of you who came in late, um, the reason why I'm doing all of this beforehand is because when I did my first card, I did it one piece at a time, and it was not easy to match up the circle. <laughs> so I'm hoping that, I'm not hoping that this die is um, strong enough to die cut through, let's see, one, two, th through four, actually, four layers. Yes, we are going to be die cutting through four layers, and I'm hoping that it works. Okay, so finally, I have this circle die. This is from uh, Polka Doodles. And it is found in their website. This is what it looks like. And we will see if it's strong enough to cut through all four pieces. And what I want to do now is, because I'm thinking that it may have to go through, what, three, four passes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of washi so that this piece stays in place. And while I'm die cutting this piece, go ahead and uh, talk to your list. You can chat with your list about her new paper collection. It is absolutely beautiful. Let me go ahead and leave you with some visuals of your list's um, 
collection and she can answer any questions that you may have regarding her brand new paper collection and maybe other collections that she soon may be coming um, up with. So let me go ahead and do this and I will be right back. Wish me luck. Okay, so I'm back, but I'm not through with this yet because I'm going to have to do one more thing. It cut through the first layer. So now, actually, it cut through the first two layers because we have the cardstock and we have the uh, paper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this right here over the second layer and do another pass. Actually, that's layer number three and four that I will be doing a pass through. And so, I guess when making a shaker card like this, you can either do it this way or you can do one layer at a time like I did with my first card. And so, yeah, I have it like this. It cut through two layers and I will be right back. Okay, that took some doing, but I think we may have it. I think we may have it. So, okay, let me do that, and let me do this, and let me do this. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So let me put these to the side. This is the one that I'm going to use. And look at this. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got something. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks horrible. <laughs> 
so there could be a better way to do this but it looks horrible but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and go with it okay it looks horrible but we're going with it so i guess the best way to do this is to do one layer at a time okay and then just match up the circles like you uh as best as you can okay so moving along <laughs> And this is why I don't do live videos. Okay, so moving along, we are going to use the blue to make um, the matting for this side. Because y'all know I love to do matting on the inside of my cards. And in a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and pull, um, show you the prize. Let me show you one of the prizes I'm giving away. You know, I've been doing a lot of cleaning in my um, craft room, just whatever I can, you know, 20 minutes at a time. Of course, it's going to take me forever. I'll probably be done in what, 2030 or something like that, 2032. Okay, let me, hang on a second. Let me look at this. So it's four and a quarter, four and an eighth. Let me do four. So as I'm cleaning my craft room, I come along some stuff most of it brand spanking new items that i've never opened okay that for some reason or other i was like oh yeah i want this i want this and i've just never opened it hang on a second five and a half so we're moving a full quarter we're doing it five and one quarter okay so going through all this stuff and i tell you a lot of the stuff that i did use maybe one sheet two sheets or a couple of times I put them in boxes and my husband has drove them to the uh, Goodwill okay so a lot of my things have gone to Goodwill simply because I mean you know if I don't use them and I haven't used them in the past year or so what are the chances that I'm gonna use them now it's it's not gonna happen you know realistically it's not gonna happen so some of the items that I'm coming across are brand spanking new items and uh, unopened unused and so i said to myself you know what i want to do this video it's long overdue let me go ahead and do a giveaway a surprise giveaway along with it so um i will show you in a minute here's one of the th one of the things that i'm giving away okay that's one of them like i said i come across dies okay i come across stuff that I have and it's just a lot of stuff and so I thought you know what let me make somebody else happy with it here's another item that I'm giving away can y'all see it okay and I remember in one of my earlier live videos last year and as a matter of fact your list was there in which um, your list, you remember we came up with a number, we did a number thing. I had a number in my head and I wrote it down and whoever came up with that number or closest to it without going over was the winner. Do you remember doing that with me, your list? And you helped me find the first person who came closest to that number? Let me know if you remember, cause I'm thinking that's how, um, we should hold this giveaway. What do you think, Yorlis? Just let me know in the chat section. And here's another item that's going to be in the giveaway. Let me just stick this paper right over here. And this one's going to go right here like this. Well, I'm trying to get it as straight as I can. Okay right there and this little cutie see what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna let me see how does she look okay i'm gonna put her like this okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my glue and I'm just going to spread glue, not too close to the edge, of course. Just spread glue. Then I'm going to take this part right here, 
and I'm going to go like this. Blew her down. <laughs> See? She's so pretty. Okay. So she's glued down. And here's the last part of the giveaway. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be giving away one, two. This is a stencil that I got from scrapbook.com. I didn't care for it. I know I'm never going to use it, so why even open it right? And these are other things that I've gotten here and there that I thought, you know what? These are so cute, but I've never, see, never opened. So I'm going to go ahead and give these four items away later on in this video. Hi, Julia. How are you? So let me set these to the side and let me do this. Okay. So now the next thing that we're going to build is going to be this frame right here. And let me see. I think I used up all of my, um, whatchamacallit, pink. So let me just use up the yellow for this. Now, here is something that I've mentioned in the past. Where is it? Where is it? Hang on just a moment. If you don't have one of these, this is a We Are Memory Keepers frame punch board. And depending on the type of crafting that you do, if you do a lot of cards or even a lot of mini albums, I highly recommend that you get yourself one of these, whether it be at a Tuesday morning clearance thing or scrapbook.com, whatever. I highly recommend that you use, uh, get you one of these because trust me, it, it's, it's going to pay for itself a hundred times over. I use it almost with every single one of my projects and I always use it with my shaker card projects. Okay. Now there is a fault to this and I'm not the only one who's come across that fault, but, um, I work around it. Okay. So let me put this to the side and you know, I'm thinking it shouldn't have that. It shouldn't do that. But I got it so cheap. I think I got it for like six or seven bucks. At that, you know, I got it at Tuesday morning for that price. And so let me see. What did I want to do here? Okay, so this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and do a frame for that for about, let's see. Here's five and a half, five and three eighths. I'm gonna go five and a quarter because I do want to leave an edge, an edge around here. So I'm gonna go five and a quarter. And then the other one was, let's see, four and a quarter. So I'm gonna go four. Okay, right along here. So I've cut this and it's going to show that pink edge. Okay, so we say goodbye to this. So now I have my tool. Alrighty. Now, um, the frame punch board, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, we are at one half an inch, and that's where I'm going to leave my frame at an inch, at half of an inch. And so it's really simple, easy to use. I tell you, if you don't have this contraption, you must get it. So what it's doing is it's cutting a frame that is half an inch wide. Okay. So here we go. Now, the way this thing is supposed to work. All righty. I'm going to give you a quick review. The way this thing is supposed to work is that you do your, let's say, it's a, I'm not going to do it here because it's going to mess it up, a half an inch. Okay. You move your thing to a half an inch which is right there, which is the width that you do. And then how it's supposed to work is you're supposed to put it right along here. And this is supposed to cut right through there. But guess what? I've seen time and time again, different crafters, video after video after video. This does not cut right at all. And it's, and it renders more frustration than satisfaction. Okay. So what I wind up doing, and I'm sure a lot of crafters wind up doing the same thing. Once I have trimmed my edge, 
this thing goes away, okay? And I just happen to have one of these paper trimmers that has that, I don't know if you could see it, like it has this little line that's built in right there and that helps you maintain a very straight line as you're, um, as you're trimming your paper. So I move my frame to here and I hope that y'all can see that. And then I line it up with here like so. And at the same token, I line up, and I hope that y'all can see that, I line up this line, oops, I messed it up, okay, I line up this line right along there, and then I trim. And I do that on all four sides, so let me line it up real good. and trim. Okay, that's two. Let me do the other one. Just like this. And like this. And like that. And then like this, I think. I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay, so now we have our frame and the cut is a lot smoother doing it like this than if I would have done it over here because it always comes out wonky. And like I said before, I am not the only crafter who's come across that. This section right here absolutely works fantastic okay fantastic but this section right here uh-uh use one of these okay so if we are memory keepers if you guys are watching just so you know you need to make an improvement on your product I love we are memory keepers okay but you drop the ball when it comes to this part over here you drop the ball big time <laughs> okay so we have our frame and this is going to go right along there. Now we need to cut a little, um, what you call it, cellophane, not, it's not called cell, acetate. That's what it's called, acetate. And I came across this acetate piece. It's really, really cute. It's got little white dots on it. I thought it was very playful. So that's what I'm going to use. This first one is just, you know, um, clear acetate. And so let's see, I need to trim this at, excuse me, this is going to be trimmed at about three and three quarters by five. So let's go ahead and trim this to three and three quarters by five. And so here we go. Oh, and this uh, small guillotine by We Are Memory Keepers, I absolutely love it. I love it. Love it. I wish I had the space to get a bigger guillotine because they are so precise. What did I say? Three and three quarters? Was that it? I forgot what I said. Let me check. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Yes, I did say three and three quarters. Okay, so um, yeah, I love the guillotine. And hang on a second. Three and three quarters. It's not right. It's not right. It's this way. Ah, now. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. And now we are going to take this right along here. See, I have furry babies. You know, I'm surprised that my cats are hiding because when as soon as I enter my craft room, 
they just climb all over the place. They climb on my chair. They climb up here. You know, half the time when I'm trying to make a tutorial, <laughs> I'm battling my cats to move out of the way. You know, that's the stuff that you don't see. It's all the stuff that gets edited out. And so, gosh. Yeah. But it's fun. You know, normally when I'm crafting and I'm doing a tutorial, this is a little known thing. You know, just my uh, innermost circle knows about this. I love to listen to scary stories. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love, love, love listening to scary stories. <laughs> I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, I mean, wow. <laughs> you know, thinking back, I'm like, my parents were okay with me at the age of nine watching The Exorcist. Well, the television version, but still. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I don't know what it is, but I have a taste for that. I just love scary movies, but not like slasher movies. I don't like to watch people getting slashed or anything like that. No, to me, it's more like... um like witches and goblins and brujas and cucos, you know, fun stuff. <laughs> fun stuff. <laughs> so, okay. So now we got this. You know what? Is there a, a front and a back side to this? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we have our double-sided tape. Now, let's make believe <laughs> that this phone tape is actually thicker than what it is right now. <laughs> we can make believe that, all right? So let's do that. Because the thicker your phone tape, the more, uh, what you might call it, uh, beads and things you can put on in there. You know, I'm like, hello, McFly. <laughs> I got the wrong tape. Duh. <laughs> but live and learn, right? <laughs> and so, yeah. Yeah, we have that thing, that saying in my house, whenever you do something dumb, <laughs> We're like, hello, McFly. We get that from um, Back to the Future. Y'all remember that movie from the 1980s? The dad, whenever he was being bullied by the bully, <laughs> he would tell him, hello, McFly. So yeah, it's just the joke we have in our house. Now, I could go double with this but I don't want to because I do want to make other shaker cards and this is all I have left <laughs> okay so this is gonna go on top of this like so and I guess before I do that let me take out my shakers so we got this And <laughs> I'm just dropping stuff in here. You know how some people do the, the little cute ceramic dish and they start putting their different shakers to do a shaker mix and this and that? It looks cute, okay? It's, it's good for aesthetics. Not me. I just dump them on there. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Alrighty, let me open this up. And speaking of shakers, did y'all get yours from Hobby Lobby? I showed the other day, they were what, 49 cents? I still haven't opened them, look. 49 cents, can you believe that? I got two of these and I got one of these at Hobby Lobby, 49 cents. 
Oh my word. You know, wow, that's cheap. That is cheap, 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 cheap. That's the price that they all should be, really. Okay, so I think that's plenty of shakers. And let me kind of sort of like spread them out a little bit because they're getting kind of chunky for this. So let me just spread them out just a tad. And now... See, I passed my, my, my cardstock so many times through through um, the die cutting machine that it warped the cardstock. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Alrighty, so now for this I'm going to have to stand up because I need to see. I may have to pull this a little bit closer to me. I'm sorry if you can't see it real good and now I'm just going to drop it like it's hot 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 there we go <laughs> we dropped it like it's hot <laughs> I know I'm so goofy oh gosh in high school my friends used to tell me Sandy you're so goofy <laughs> okay and we got a shaker. Yay, we got a shaker. And uh, here's the little, whatchamacallit, image. And there she is. And 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 don't pay much attention to this. <laughs> and we got a shaker. So over here on the other side, you could um, embellish it with the uh, embellishments. Embellish it with the embellishments. <laughs> Let me show you this one. You can embellish it with the many embellishments that Euralis has in her collection. And like I said earlier at the beginning of this video, this is not the only embellishment sheet. She has other ones like the, como se dice, the, um, that half fish, half woman, help me out. <laughs> the woman with the scales. <laughs> what do you call Shake, 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 baby. <laughs> um, ay Dios, como se dice your list? Help me out. Anyway, she has other embellishments. Okay, this is not all of it. There's more, and your list will go ahead and and put and and put the uh, <laughs> put the uh, what you would call it link to her zibit shop. See, it's like if I try to read the conversation, mermaid, I eat mermaids, eso es. Okay, so, anyways, yeah, you could do something really, really cute with the blue because she has a blue mermaid with the blue, and then do some aqua like shakers, you know, and that is going to be so much fun. <laughs> La sirenita, yes, sirena, that's it. Okay, so. Over here, we can go ahead and embellish it some. I found some stickers. Oh my gosh, do I have stickers? Guys, I have stickers like you would not believe. Oh my word. You know, it's like you go shopping. It's either Hobby Lobby or Tuesday morning. You're like, oh, they're only 99 cents or oh, they're only 49 cents. Yo no se llena con cosas. Okay, that means, and you just fill yourself up with stuff. Okay, imaginado con cosas like you wouldn't believe. And it's like, especially early in my um, uh, paper crafting, you know, when you first start and then you fall in love with paper crafting and all that. And whenever you see something on sale, you just buy it. Whenever you see something on clearance, no questions asked. It goes in your cart, you buy it, and there you go. And that's how you accumulate a whole bunch of stuff. And guys, boy, do I have stuff, okay? So, okay, let me do that, and then I'm going to use my cutting machine. And so you have stuff, and then you try out for, um, what you call it, design teams, and you get more stuff. 
<laughs> okay? And, and the thing is, I like my stuff for my design teams that I'm a member of. I like it because, you know, it's, I, I've learned that if it's a product that I like, that I love, that I enjoy working with, of course I'm going to sign up for it. You know, but okay, this is just, this is one of my very first buys. As you can see, I lost the plastic thing to it. But I've used this so many times. I think I got this on sale for like three bucks at Hobby Lobby. This is worth it. You know, it certainly is. It's worth it. So I just go like, ah, ta -da, I made a flag. Okay, so yeah, you fill yourself up with so much stuff. And the thing is, guys, one of these days you're going to get to see my craft room, okay? Because I'm, I'm fixing stuff up and everything, and I'm nowhere near finished, okay? But one of these days, you're going to see my completed craft room. And just to give you the heads up, it's a conversion. I moved out. Um, I do have a craft room video, an old one, in which I showed you all about my um, uh, laundry room. Yeah, hubby. And my son and my son's friend converted the laundry room for me once upon a time. But I've moved out of there since because it just, it was too tight. Okay, my crafting supplies were growing towards the um, hallway and it's not safe. You know, especially I have a small house, so it made the hallway very narrow and I didn't like that. And so what we did was, we, you know, we talked about it and everything, and Hubby was about ready to, to do a second mortgage, okay? Let's be honest here. He was about ready to do a second mortgage to build an additional room to the back of the house so that I could have a craft room. And then I thought to myself, you know what? This is only a hobby, okay? It did not, I could not for the life of me justify, uh, making a loan for $30,000 to build a craft room. I'm sorry, I could not justify that expense, okay? And so we didn't do that. We almost did. But then I said, no, uh-uh, this is just a hobby. I'm sorry. I'm 53 years old, $30,000 loan in addition to the mortgage that we have now? I don't think so, no. So, okay, this is what it looks like. So we didn't do that, but we did something else. It turns out that our master bedroom is sizable. So what we've done is a master bedroom conversion. Okay. And um, I'm looking for flowers, you guys. <laughs> I knew I had them out here. <laughs> I thought about doing this. <laughs> Let me see if I can take this out. Because I'm going to add some cuernos. Le voy a poner los cuernos. <laughs> That's another saying in Spanish. Um, but I'm not going to translate it. No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to put los cuernos. But you know, y'all know what I mean. Is that how you guys say it in your country too? <laughs> okay, I took this off because I want to put this on the top I think it goes really really cute okay just like sorry I gotta bring this towards me and it's okay if it goes over like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right down here alrighty what do y'all think <laughs> Le puse los cuernos. <laughs> there you go. So uh, finishing up my story, we converted our master bedroom to my craft room. And what we did was we put some money into Ikea closets. Okay. And uh, yeah, it was in my mind a heck of a lot cheaper to add Ikea closets in the master bedroom instead of adding a $30,000 room to the house that was going to be my hobby room. 
<laughs> so that's what we did. So I'm in the process of still putting things away, you know, getting rid of stuff. And so that's why you haven't seen a craft room tour in a while. But it's coming. <laughs> Estamos loca, pero mira, no tumbe la casa, no? <laughs> and so this is what we have. And this is the other one. I made two shaker cards. I made it the right way and the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> and so I hope that y'all have enjoyed this tutorial. It was a heck of a lot of fun to do. And please check out Yorlis Borja's new paper collection. Uh, once again, she is Pretties by Yorlis right here on YouTube. And let me show you the stuff that I have left. She has these beautiful pastel collections. As you saw, she has them in yellow. She has them in pink. She has them in baby blue beautiful pastel collections and also she has the embellies and she has them at a remarkable price and so yeah and this is not the only digits that she has she has other designs that go in conjunction with this paper collection i don't know what she's calling this paper collection but you can go ahead and check her out on zibit so now before everybody goes what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold a giveaway because this was a special video my very first live webinar or whatever you might want to call it okay where you got to see all the oopsies and all the you know do as I say not as I do <laughs> all righty we are holding a giveaway for you viewers of my live video right here and now so what am I giving away let me just put these to the side because I still want you all to see this. I'm giving away some of the things that I have found while I'm cleaning up my craft room. And that is a Spellbinders die. This one is this um, jaula, como se dice, bird cage. It's a bird cage. Okay. Never been used, never been open. So we have this one and we have this other one. This is a Tonic Studios and it's been cut up here but yeah it's it looks like it's been yeah it's been cut but it's never been used you guys you know you can tell when someone's used a die i've never used that die and so i'm giving this away another thing that i'm giving away is this crafters companion decorative edge die okay and you can do magnificent things with these kind of dies i have a gazillion of these all their different styles and this was like a second a copy of what i have and so this one never been opened never been used and to just show you all i have a card that i have yet to mail out to one of my uh, youtube friends this is using a crafter's companion if you all can see it's using one of these okay and so yeah, I love using these because you can make absolutely beautiful cards with this type of die. As you can see, the edge, see how there's an edge there? And if y'all are curious as to how I make these type of cards, I do believe I have it in a playlist. If you want to check out my YouTube playlist, there is a card making playlist from the cards that I've made in the past. So yeah. I just love these type of dies. They're perfect for this. So you're getting this. You are also receiving this stencil. This is one of the items that I got for free from scrapbook.com when I made a purchase from them. But I really do not care for this. And by the way, the winner, you if you want to bless somebody else with any one of these items, you know, um, if there's one particular item you don't care for, go ahead and do so. You're not gonna hurt my feelings, I promise you that. So these are the items that you are getting and this is open to all of my subscribers, whether you're here in the States, Canada, Russia, wherever, okay? And the way we're gonna hold this giveaway your list is like, um, oh, you wanna do, you wanted your kids too? Okay, hang on a second. Let me get my phone because I really need to uh, catch up with the... Hang on a second. Hang on a second, Yorli. Hang on, honey. Just give me a moment, okay? Let me, let me log in. 
<clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> hey, hang on a second. Let me get my... Hi, honey. Hi, Kathy. Oh, thank you, Erlinda. Okay, I got my cell phone, okay? So, okay. I'm sorry if I've missed anybody uh, from saying hello. As y'all can see, I was focused on the tutorial. Okay, so, ouch. Alrighty, so Yorlis wants to give away a kit from her shop, I suppose, as well. So we're going to have, guys, two giveaways, okay? Two giveaways. And the amazing thing about Yorlis' kits is that, you know what? You don't have to leave your house <laughs> to scrapbook. You don't have to leave your house to make some cards because all you got to do is just download the papers and print them out. And you have that forever print out as many as you want so yeah okay so let's go ahead and do that how do you want to do this your list tell me do you want me to do my giveaway first and then we'll do your giveaway second how do you want to do this and also uh to me the easiest way do you remember about a year ago Han, when we did a giveaway and you helped me out with this in which i wrote down a number okay and the person that uh, and the person that come came up first nearest to that number without going over was the winner and you helped me see who came up with that number first so I'm gonna pause here so you can answer me your list is that how you want to do this do, 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 do. Okay, your memory don't work that long. Okay, so this is what we do. You know, like I said, I come up with a number. Then when I say go, everybody types in a number. I'm going to say from whatever to whatever, okay? Whoever comes closest to that number, the first person who comes closest to that number without going over that number is the winner. For example, let me do a for example. Okay, for example, let's say I tell you, give me a number from 25 to 30, Some, and, and I write down 26, okay? Somebody, whoever comes up with 25 or 26 first, you know, without going over 26, that first person is the winner. That's how we're going to do this, okay? So, is everybody ready? The, this is for the first prize. We're going to do your list thing as the grand prize, okay? So let me know, y'all, if y'all are ready. I'm going to write it down over here. If y'all are ready, I'm going to call out the um, thingamajiggy. Okay, everybody's ready. This is going to be for this stuff that y'all see right here, okay? First person without going over. I hope nobody saw that. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking a number from 1 to 20. Go. Not 26, 1 to 20. <laughs> Type it up. Thank you, Liz Gaines. Okay, contest is over. Somebody hit it. Somebody hit it. Contest is over. Contest is over. The winner is...
contest is over. We're through. <laughs> the winner is Erlinda Ramirez. She was the first person to come up with the exact number, Erlinda Ramirez. So Erlinda, I'm gonna have you send me your information. You're going to email me uh, right over here. Okay, Erlinda, I hope that you can read my handwriting, hun. Email me at this with that same Google account that you're typing up right there. Email me. That way I know it's you emailing me. Okay, uh, subject put something like I'm the winner of your giveaway. And please give me your full name with your full address so that I can get these items out in the mail to you. Okay, Erlinda? So please do that. This is my email address and email me from that same Google account that you are chatting with so that I know it's you. Alrighty, so that is, um, that is, uh, excuse me, giveaway number one. So this is done. And let me just write it down. Erlinda Ramirez. And guys, just giving you a heads up, I hold monthly giveaways in my blog, and all you have to do is leave me a comment in my blog, any one of the blog posts for that month, okay? So my blog is in my uh, page, my YouTube, it's uh, Decorate Your Life, you know, as my channel, decorateyourlife.com. <laughs> just, you know, giving you a little bit of info there. I'm always holding giveaways in my blog. Okay, oops. So for the second one, for the grand prize, <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'm catching up with the chat. I'm sorry, I know. Dead air, dead air. We don't want any dead air. <laughs> Okay, so congratulations to Erlinda Ramirez. Woohoo! Alrighty, now for the grand prize, so you can make beautiful uh, shaker cards and not a disparate like this one. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to do. The winner, you will have to contact your list. And uh, let's see, Yorlis, can you type up your email address up here? Does it let you? Please let me know. See if you can type it up right now because we're going <laughs> to, because we're going to have to, oh yes, it is a disparate. Oh my gosh, you should see what I had to go through. <laughs> Pero pasa, it's passable. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, your list, can you type up? Does it let you share your email address or no? Because I'm trying to figure out how the grand prize winner is going to c communicate with you. So, just let me know, hon. Oh, she can't because she has to be a moderator. <sighs> okay, so um, Facebook. Can the winner contact you on Facebook, your list? Let me know, hon. How do we do this so that the winner can... Oh, I got to make you a moderator. Okay, hang on a second. Let me see if I can do that here. Uh, hang on a second. Hang on just a moment. 
Let me go to my studio. Or I wonder if I could do it right here. Hang on, just let me see. Uh, uh, okay, you're a moderator. See if you could put your link. Okay, so she has her email up there. Oops. Okay, so your list now is a moderator, and she can go ahead and um, share the, uh, whatchamacallit, her uh, URL to her shop, so you can check out her shop. Alrighty, so... The same with this, your list. Do you want me to call out the number or do you want to do it on your end? Tell me. Yeah, she was crowned. <laughs> How do you want to hold your giveaway, honey? Yeah, she's a moderator now, guys. I just need to know how, how your list wants to do the giveaway. Her giveaway. Which I, I guess, should you let the winner choose whatever kit they want? They can email you since you already put your email. Do you want to do that? Whatever kit the winner wants, I would think. Whatever works for, for them. What do you think, Yorlis? Okay, with the number. So you want me to do it? So let's go ahead and do that with the number like the first. Okay, let me grab a piece of paper. Okay. And just like the first time, let me see what we have. Okay, so now I'm thinking of a number, and this is for the grand prize. You get to pick whatever kit in your list's store. All righty, and uh, your list has her email address right there. I'm sure she will put it again after the winner is picked. Um, hang on, I forgot the number. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking of a number from 20 to 42. The first person that comes up with a number closest to it or names a number without going over is the winner. Go. Okay, it's over. It's over. Somebody want it. Somebody want it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The first person was Lise Gaines. Lise Gaines. I'm sorry if I'm uh, not pronouncing it correctly. 25. Lise Gaines has won the grand prize, which is one of your list's uh, digital kits. Liz Gaines is the winner. Okay, your Liz Hunt, do you want to type in your email address so that Liz can uh, contact you? Go ahead and type up your email address so she can contact you. Alrighty, so she's got the, <laughs> well, congratulations.
win, Lisa. I'm so happy that you won. Yay. And for the rest of you, if you're interested, let me just write this down. <laughs> I know my handwriting is horrible at www.decorateyourlife.com I have a blog in which I blog about crafty stuff and tutorials every single month and every single month I hold giveaways in my blog and basically how it's done is you comment on my blog post for that month and at the closing of the month I pull a winner I draw a winner from the comments that were left in that month and it's usually stuff like uh, stuff like this or uh, even uh, gift cards from Heartfelt Creations, Scrapbook.com, whoever, you know, crafty gift cards. So yeah, pay me a visit at decorateyourlife.com and I would appreciate your support there as well. Thank you all so very much for, um, thank you so very much for joining us here uh, your list you want to go ahead and oh yeah she put her her zibit uh, link there so please all go and visit your list help support small business you know let's lift each other up and uh, yeah it's been so great to be here with you and and make mistakes right in front of you <laughs> so yeah I will see y'all once again real soon I have new videos coming out in in I was gonna say January in July <laughs> so I'll see you once again real soon okay bye now I'm tired I'm thirsty I'm thirsty somebody give me a pina colada <laughs> bye <laughs> okay and stream